Linen Boards presents Retro Computing using FPGAs, Part 5. One of the most desirable add ons for the Superboard 2 computer was the Model 610 disk expansion card. And what it had was a connector, you can see in the left in the picture here, that went 40 pin connector that went down to the Superboard that brought out the address and data lines and the control lines and you could control and have up to 24k of static RAM making a total of uh, somewhere under 30k. I had one of those. Uh, it was one of the pride of my life to be able to afford to have that almost 30k of static RAM to be able to use. Not that I ever probably even filled up the 3.3k that I had in the beginning but I had it and uh, one of the cool things is to have a function like that. Grant's FPGA implementation of the CompuKit 1 UK 101 includes expansion RAM up to 41K. Uh, you put a 128K bit chip on there. It's only a couple of bucks nowadays. It isn't that whole big array of chips and buffers that the other one had. Uh, you hook it up to the FPGA and it just works. And we did that. Let's take a look at how. The static RAM is located in this picture in the upper right hand corner and connects over to the connector next to it as well as the connector that goes across the top. If you got your system working with the 4K of memory, now's a good time to back it up. When you back it up, create a new 40K version of the program and all the files. After all, you might want to go back to the old 4K nostalgia days. Just go ahead and follow Grant's step-by-step -step changes. He explains them all very nicely on his website. If everything proceeds right, you should see 40191 bytes free, more than you ever saw on your old machine. Thanks for watching our video, and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.